Hundreds of blueberry pickers walked off their jobs Monday in protest of what they say are wages too low to make a living. By Tuesday, the United Farm Workers Union had joined the protest and the Kern County Sheriff's Department showed up in force to keep the peace. The issue behind all the flag waving and megaphone shouting was whether 60 cents for a pound of berries was a fair price. Armando Elenis, National Vice President for the UFW, said that not only is the price too low for the work, the grower, Gourmet Blueberry LLC, had dropped the price over time and was, quote, playing games with wages. But Buck Klein, who manages the 124-acre farm off Kite Road near McFarland, said it's the market that dictates prices. As the fruit ripens and floods the market, he can't get as high a price for his berries, so he has to cut the price he pays workers. Even so, he said, with so much more ripe fruit to pick, workers can rack up a lot more pounds of berries in a shorter time than they could earlier in the season when prices were higher. That can equate to an hourly wage upwards of $20 an hour, Klein said. In fact, the average wage on Sunday was $17.45 an hour, he said. Workers were mixed about their feelings about the wages. Obviously, those protesting weren't happy with them. But of the 80 or 90 people still in the fields, some said the pay was too low and that other blueberry farms were paying up to 15 cents more per pound, while others were happy with the amount, saying they were making good money. Either way, one observer noted that when so many people are willing to leave their work, it could indicate that a serious worker shortage is in the offing. That remains to be seen as the harvest season ramps up this summer and fall.